Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com In Fluid Mechanics regarding Venturi Meter, let us do some solving problems. Example, find the discharge of water flowing through a pipe of 30 cm diameter placed in an inclined position where a Venturi Meter is inserted. Here, having a throat diameter 15 cm, the difference of pressure between the main and throat is measured by liquid of specific gravity 0.6 in an inverted U-tube which gives a reading of 30 cm. The loss of head between the main and throat is 0.2 times the kinetic head of the pipe. So water is flowing from up to down. Now let us write the given things first. Inlet dia. Inlet dia D1 is 30 centimeter. Throat dia D2 15 centimeter. A1 area at inlet is pi by 4 30 square is 706.85 centimeter square. A2 that is throat area pi by 4 15 square equal 176.7 centimeter square. Uh, reading of differential manometer reading in manometer that is x equal 30 centimeter here x is 30 centimeter is given now difference of pressure h now we can write difference of pressure h is p1 by rho g plus z1 minus p2 by rho g plus z2 equal h also h equal x times 1 minus specific gravity of uh, specific gravity of the manometer and specific gravity of the liquid in pipe Now, which is equal 30 into 1 minus 30 into 1 minus 0.6 specific gravity of liquid in manometer is 0.6 and specific gravity of water is 1 is equal 30 into 0 0.4 is 12 centimeter. Now, loss of head is given. Loss of head is uh, 0.2 times the, the kinetic head. Here, kinetic head means v squared by 2g that is loss of head equal you can write 0 0.2 into v1 squared by 2g now Bernoulli's equation equation in section 1 and 2 we are getting p1 by rho g plus 
z1 plus v1 squared <coughs> by 2g kinetic head equal p2 by rho g plus z2 plus v2 squared by 2g plus head loss. Here we are applying Pernod's equation in section 1 and 2. We are getting like this. Here we are uh, we are getting here HL equal P1 by rho g plus z1 minus p2 by rho g p2 by rho g plus z2 plus v1 squared by 2g minus v2 v2 by v2 squared by 2g to squared by 2g. This all together is our HL. By using this equation, we are getting HL like. Now, but, but before we get here, we are getting this uh, 12, this H p1 by rho g plus z1 minus p2 by rho g plus z2 uh, let it be here 1 from 1 it is therefore we have but from 1 from equation 1 P1 by rho g plus z1 minus P2 by rho g plus z2 equal h which is equal 12 centimeter we got before. So we can write therefore HL equal this together with this. Therefore, you can write 12 plus 12 plus V1 squared by 2G minus V2 squared by 2G V2 squared minus V2 squared by 2G equal then HL this this is uh, 12 then equal 0 0.2 times kinetic loss is v1 squared by 2g now collecting on side here <coughs> here also here also the terms v1 squared by 2g here also v1 squared by 2g collecting on side it becomes 1 minus 0.2 that is 0.8 that is 12 plus 0 0.8 v1 squared by 2g minus v2 squared by 2g now which becomes equal 0 collecting on side and now applying continuity equation continuity equation in sections 1 and 2 1 and 2 we get a1 v1 equal a2 v2 here from that we get v1 equal a2 v2 by a1 here a2 by
a1 a2 we are having here here a2 is 4 uh, a1 is 4 times that area of the pipe cross sectional area of the pipe is 4 times the throat because this diameter is 2 times difference therefore we can say we can say like uh, v1 v1 by v2 equal 4 And here V1 over V2, no, A1 by A2, A1 by A2 equal to 4 times. So we have V1 equal V2 by A2 by A1 is divided by 4. So the velocity at throat, velocity velocity at throat is velocity at pipe is uh, v2 by 4 that means uh, velocity of the fluid is 4 times at throat is 4 times the pipe 4 times then the velocity at the pipe now that applying v1 substituting v1 substituting v1 in uh, in equation 1. Now we have 12 plus 0.8 by 2g instead of v1 by v, v1 we are writing v2 by 4 the square minus v2 squared by 2g equal 0. Now or we have 12 plus v2 squared by 2g into v2 squared into that is v we have v2 squared by 2g thought here 16 v squared is 16 so we have 0.8 over 16 minus 1 equal 0 from this combination we have v2 squared by v2 squared by 2g is minus 12 over minus 12 over 0 0.8 0.8 by 16, 0.8 divided by 16 equal minus 1, minus 0 0.95, minus 0 0.95. Then therefore V2 equal minus minus plus 12 by 0 0.95 into 2 into 9.81 that is g equal 157 7.4 centimeter per second discharge discharge equal you can say a2 v2 we have a2 is uh, 176.7 and V2 is 157.4 centimeter per second which is given approximately 27 800 centimeter cube per second which is equal 27.8 liters per second because divided by 1000 is 27.8 liters per second. Now we got discharge of water. That is discharge means flow through the pipe. Here that is given 27.8 liters per second. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.